Hi everyone, uh, my name is Joshua Uma and I'm so excited to be uh, able to share my thoughts with you at the Virtual Property Show. And uh, welcome to our home. This is where my wife and our family live and we're so grateful for the many great memories we've created in this place and still continue to do so. And uh, we didn't just, uh, uh, this is not where we've always lived. I mean, I remember when our family was growing, when we, the children came and we were looking for a bigger place and uh, uh, we looked at so many houses. We looked at can you believe it? Over 50 places that we went to see. And uh, uh, we went to the north, we went to the south, we went east, we went west, we went everywhere. And I think that's because we really didn't know what, uh, we weren't really focused on what we wanted, but we knew what we wanted, but you'd go to this place and this place, you know, one, one thing's okay, the other's not okay, and then the bathroom's fine, but the bedroom's not okay. And so it took us a while, but eventually we came to this place and we really liked it because I like spaces that kind of interconnect, as you can see here. Well, you can't see everything, but um, we really loved it. it was exactly what we're looking for. So um, when the estate agent uh, gave us the price, we said, listen, we can't afford it and we had to leave it. And so we continued searching. We, we got so tired of looking at places. In the end, we were so fed up. Oh no, not another one. But uh, one day I was driving to work and normally I like to listen to CD, message CDs in the car and uh, I was listening to uh, Creflo Doll and I can't even remember what he said, but something just made me change my mind and I said, you know what, yes, we can have that place. We can, and, I, and, and I decided, I made a decision right there to make an offer. So uh, I don't know who was more surprised, my wife or the estate agent, but we made the offer and uh, I'm not going to go through the whole story. Just to cut a long story short, we, uh, we went through the whole process and here we are. We got into our dream home and it had everything we, we were looking for in terms of, you know, we had put up the picture in our previous, in, our, in the bedroom on the wall of what we wanted and this had what we wanted. So that was the journey um, uh, we went through to get to our dream home and I'm sure you've got a dream home, something that you'd like, uh, somewhere you'd like to move into and I'm just going to share three things that I'd like to um, help you with and to get into the space that you want. And I don't know where you're participating from, maybe um, the town or city that you're in. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, the place or the area that everybody wants to live in and uh, I'm not going to talk about that and I'm not going to talk about the space. I want to talk about something different. I want to talk about the space between your ears, all right? I want to talk about this space and I'm going to show you how you can deal with this space between the ears. And I'm going to go through three things that I really believe will help you to deal with this space between your ears. All right, so step number one is to invest in your space. Uh, if you're looking for a property, uh, the area is very, very important. That's one of the most important things that you look for. So I want to, uh, as like I said, I'm going to talk about the most important area to me, which is this space, the space between your ears, your mind. Your mind is the most valuable space that you can ever invest in. If you're thinking about investing, it's got to start with your mind. And um, the mind, when we, when we think, when, we, uh, when you talk about thoughts, uh, we actually think in pictures. You're basically creating a picture in your mind. All the time, any moment of the day, you've got some kind of movie going on in your mind. And depending on what type of thoughts you think, that could be a good movie or it could be a bad movie. It could be a movie with a good ending, it could be a movie with a bad ending. And you decide that through the thoughts that you allow into your mind. So, um, how do you invest in your mind? How do you, how do you, what, what does it mean to invest in your mind, to invest in, 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 your, in your space? It starts with dreaming. You've got a dream. When we, before we moved into this place, we, we thought about it, we dreamt about it, we thought about what would be the ideal place for us, what would we like in a home. That's where it's got to start. And I know, you know, we've been going through uh, some pretty difficult uh, times in the, in the last few uh, months or so, and, and, and you're probably thinking, I, I don't have time to dream. You know what I'm thinking, what I'm going through right now? I, I've got no time for dreaming. But listen, everything starts with a dream. What's going to change your situation? Maybe you're saying, do you know how much money I have in my account? Do you know what I'm, what, what's happening in my life right now? I've got no time to dream. Well, let me ask you a question. What does it cost to dream? It costs absolutely nothing. You've got nothing to lose. Everything out here, in this space out here, first started in this space in here. So that's the first way that you invest in this space. That's the first way that you invest in your mind, by dreaming. Think about what you want. What is it that you want? Okay. What is it you'd really like to have? Um, um, the things that you're looking for, the kind of place that you want to stay in. Is it because of other people? Are you trying to keep up with somebody else? Uh, is it because so-and-so has one, so therefore you want one? You've got 
got to think about you. You've got to think about who are you really? What do you really want? Never ever allow somebody else to define your decisions or your dreams or your goals. You decide which direction you want to go and it all starts by dreaming. So I'd really, really like to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, no matter the circumstance, the only thing, the very first thing that's going to change is where you invest your thoughts. What kind of thoughts do you have in your mind? What are you allowing to come into your mind? Okay. The second way to invest in your mind is to uh, provide it with the right information. I mean, if you're looking for a property, what are you going to do? You're going to get try and get as much information as you can from the right sources, of course. I mean, you can go to uh, a good company like private property or other reliable sources, and you want to get the right information so that you can make an informed decision. Um, I'm sure many of you, we make decisions all the time, and the more information you have, the more you're able to make a better decision. And so. Um, investing in your mind means you're going to put the right information into your mind. Uh, it's almost like feeding a baby. Um, a baby depends on you to feed it. Your mind is going to depend on you to feed it the right information. So uh, what you want to do is to avoid the wrong information. What do I mean by that? I mean, I'm talking about complaining. I'm talking about moaning. I'm talk talking about whining. I'm talking about looking at the situation the way it is in this space out here. You don't want to allow any of that to come into this space out here because Whatever you feed this space is going to grow. This is the baby that will grow. This is the baby that will produce whatever you want in your life. So you want to make sure that you, you're, 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 you're getting the right sources. I mean, um, the internet is available now. Nobody really has an excuse now. You can, you can find out about anything that you want to find out about. You know, one of the sad things that I notice is that a lot of people, once they leave school or, or college or university, they never want to look at another book. There's books available. You can have audios. You can listen. Uh, you can listen to podcasts. You can attend events. The whole idea is you want to invest in your mind. You want to invest in this space between your ears before you invest in this space out here, in this property out here. So step two is to maintain your space. And um, w when you move into a home, whether it's brand new, if it's a brand new home, you're still going to have to do some maintenance sooner or later. Uh, the paint, you have to repaint the walls. Um, maybe something will happen to you like happened to us. We had a geyser burst and we had to replace the geyser. Or quite recently we had a, a, a huge water bill from the municipality and we were wondering what's going on and we had to call the plumber in and they dug the ground and found out that one of the pipes under the ground uh, after the meter was leaking. And so we had to repair that. And so maintenance is something we have to do all the time. Now if you've got to do it in this external space, then you need to maintain this internal space as well. Uh, maybe some of you live in a complex um, where you have security or maybe you've got a security system at home. Why do we do that? because we don't want any unwanted people with wrong motives coming in, right? Um, unfortunately, crime is a reality. And so the first way that you're going to maintain this space is to be like a security guard. You've got to watch what's coming in. You've got to watch what thoughts and words are coming into this space. You've got to be able to, if you have, a, um, um, I'm talking about homes here, so let me talk about a washing machine, for example. Uh, before you put your washing in, you've got to sort out the clothes, right? And uh, separate the, the clothes. That's exactly what you've got to do with this space between your ears. You've got to be able to stand there like a security guard and watch what comes in. You've got to filter what comes in because whatever goes in this mind is going to grow. So that's what I mean by maintaining your space, this space. Number one, be a guard. Watch, inspect everything that's coming in. Is this, gonna, is this positive or is this negative? Is this going to benefit me or is it, is, is it going to be something that's going to cause me to, to, to be anxious or to start worrying or to be fearful? Or is it going to encourage me? Is it going to make me joyful? Watch the words that come in. Watch the thoughts that you're allowing in. If this space is like a garden, imagine this space is like a garden, all right? Be the gardener. Pull out those weeds. Pull out those, uproot those plants that are not supposed to be there. You know what kind of plants I'm talking about? Things like unforgiveness, things like anger, things like uh, uh, anxiety. You've got to uproot them out. You can't allow them to grow because they will choke your dreams. They will choke all the investment that you made in step number one. Remember what we said. You were investing in your, in your space, in your mind, by planting the dreams, by, by dreaming, by thinking about what you want. Well, guess what? If these weeds of negativity come in, they're going to choke that dream, and you don't want that to happen. So maintain your space. That is the second way that you maintain your space. The third way, um, I like to call it revisiting your dreams, okay? Uh, the other way, I think it was last week, we had, it, was, it, was quite, it was quite windy around here. And when you, we came into the lounge, there was dust, you know, on the, on the coffee table. There's dust all over the chairs. And we had to do what? You had to wipe the dust off. You have to dust the things off, right? And you've got to do the same thing with your dreams. 
If you don't, if you neglect your dreams, well, guess what's going to happen? They're going to gather dust and very soon you forget about them. They lose their shine. They lose the, the look that they had, the attractiveness that they had when you were first thinking about it. Um, maybe I can give you another example. Um, let's, let's move to the kitchen, for example. You, you've got something in the fridge. If you don't, if you forget that it's there, guess what's going to happen? It's going to either go bad, it's going to go stale, uh, it's going to go past the expiry date. And so many of us have done that with our dreams. We just, we thought about it, we were excited about it. I'm going to move into this new home, I'm going to have this property, I'm going to get this new job, I'm going to meet this new, have this new relationship. And then we, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't feed it. We don't, we don't, we don't. We allow the wrong thoughts and the right, the wrong input to come and choke that. And so you want to do some maintenance. You want to do, uh, you want to be the, uh, if I can just quick, quickly recap that, you want to be the security guard. You're going to be filtering who comes in and what thoughts come into the mind. Number two, you want to be the gardener. You want to pull out, pull out those, those weeds, pull out the wrong thoughts, pull out those, the negativity. You're worrying, what is worrying going to do for you? You worry all night. It doesn't change the situation. 90% of the stuff we worry about, guess what happens? They never, it never happens. So you got to pull that out by the root. Don't let it grow. And then thirdly, you're going, to be, you're going to be doing some cleaning. You're going to be doing some dusting. Uh, you're going to pull that dream back from the back burner. Get it away. Bring it back to the forefront of your mind so that you can keep focusing on it because whatever you focus on expands. And that's what I mean by maintaining your space. Step three is expand your space. Um, you know, when, why, why did we move into this home? Because we were looking, our family was growing. Our family was getting bigger uh, and we wanted a bigger space. And that's what life is all about. Life is about growth. Life is always expanding. Things are always growing. Um, life is about progress. Life is about development. And so, um, we, we, if, you, if you think about um, uh, school, you don't stay in grade one. Every year you move to the, the next grade. You didn't go to university and, and not want to graduate. Your, your goal is to graduate. If you look at a business, they've got strategies, they've got plans, uh, they want to make more profits every quarter, every year. Everybody wants to grow. Uh, if you look at athletes when they're uh, uh, training, they want to break the, the national record, they want to break the world record, they want to go higher, they always want to go better, they always want to go faster, right? That's the way everything is in life. We're supposed to expand, we're supposed to grow. Right? If you look at um, uh, uh, the tallest building in, 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 in Africa, uh, just recently completed uh, in, in Santon, but guess what? There's a taller building being built right now in Kenya, in East Africa. If you look at the tallest building in the world in Dubai, guess what? There's a new building being built right now in Saudi Arabia that's going to be taller than that. Can you imagine that? So everything is growing. Everything is ex expanding. Uh, recently, one of our neighbors extended their, their home. Uh, I heard about another neighbor that's um, um, uh, decided that despite the, the lockdown and not being able to go to the gym, what they were going to do, they were going to turn their garage into a gym. So we were made to expand. We were made to grow. We were never meant to remain the same. So I want to encourage you with this step number three. Expand your space. Expand this space between your ears. Things may be uh, uh, um, uh, putting you down on the outside. Maybe with this whole COVID situation, I mean, people, people have lost their lives. People have lost their loved ones. And I really do empathize with you and, and, and we feel for that, you know. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation may be, you still have a choice to expand the space in here. Maybe you're restricted right now. Maybe financially you're restricted. Maybe there's issues that have happened out there that have constrained you. But in here, there's no constraints. I mean, if I look out here, we've got a boundary wall here. You see, there's walls here. But in the space between your ears, there's absolutely no boundaries. There's no barriers. There's no limitations. You can think big. You can dream big. You can decide in this space to live in a mansion. You can decide in this place, in this space, in between your ears to build a palace. Nobody can stop that from you. Nobody can take that away from you. Maybe somebody's taken something else away from you on the, on the, on, on the, on the outside. But in here, you can control this space. And Give yourself permission to think big. Despite what's going on, despite the situations, oh, and, and, and I do understand, maybe, I don't know, it could have been a divorce, it could have been a, a relationship issue, it could have been a loss of a child or a parent or a spouse, but you can still change the situation by starting in here. You know, despite this whole situation the world is going through, some companies are still thriving. And I don't know what they're doing. I don't know the details of what they're doing. But one thing I can be sure of is that it started in here first before it happened out here. So in the same situation, why are some thriving and some not? 
we can use all the external factors and we've got no control over that. I don't, I'm, I don't have control of the economy. You don't have control over what happens economically. But you can control what happens in the economy in here, in this space that is your space. This is your space and this is your rules. You know, in our home, we've got rules and I think every home has rules. Um, you don't just leave stuff lying on the floor. You don't have quarrels and arguments and all that kind of thing. Those are the rules. In this space, we don't do that kind of thing, right? In this space, we we, we come together and we, we, we perhaps, you know, get together and, 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 and we talk about good things. We play games together. We perhaps we pray together and things like that. We've got rules. You, you've, got, you've got the right to set the rules in this space. When you go out there, you have to obey the rules of the land. When you go to your office, you've got to obey the rules of, uh, of that company. But in here, in this space, it's your space and it's your rules. Make a decision that no matter what you've been through, you're not going to live by the past. You're not going to allow the past to dictate where you are going. Even if you're living in some tiny little place that is so squashed up, you're so, it's, it's so claustrophobic. Look, I've been there. You can decide that I'm going to move out of here. Okay? Don't focus on the how. Focus on the what do you want. What is it that you want? Who can help you to do that? Focus on the what and the who and the how will take care of itself. Make a decision in here, I will rent my own place. If you're already renting, make a decision in here that I will own my own property. If you already own your own property, make a decision in here that yes, I will buy another property. If you already have other properties, don't cut back. Don't allow the external situation, space, what's happening in the external space to control what's happening in this space. You can decide, I'm going to get more. I'm going to grow because because everything in life is supposed to grow. Don't settle. Why have you settled? Let me ask you that question. Why have you decided to remain average? I know what happens. We hit our, we, we go against a brick wall. Life happens. This situation happens and then it, this issue happens and then that issue happens and then guess what? The weeds begin to grow in this space and they choke the dream that you had. I'm here to tell you today, don't give up. You will own that property. You will, even if you, yes, even if you are the first one in your whole family to own your own place, you can and you will do it. Yes, you can do it. Believe it. Control what goes on in this space. All right. Control what goes on in this space. I mean, if we look back at history, look at Japan after World War II, totally devastated. But where are they now? Look at countries like uh, uh, Rwanda after the horrible, horrible genocide that happened in that country. Look at where Rwanda is now. Because they decided that they were going to control whoever it was. The people decided we're going to control the space in here and not allow what happened to us out here to control us. And that's my encouragement to you today. Um, um, you see, what happens is that people put the cart before the horse, if I can call it that. You see, it's your thoughts that determine what you say. It de determine your words. Your words determine your actions. And so many people jump to the action. I want to buy this. Or I want to invest here. I want to do this. But they haven't gone back to taking the very first step of thinking. Taking the time to think and control what goes on in this space. How many people do you know that have won the lotto, for example? They rush to the action, action, action without taking, taking a step back and saying, let me pause here. Let me take a break here. Let me reflect and control what goes on in here because whatever goes on in here will determine what goes on in this space out here. So if there's one thing I want to encourage you with it today is take control of this space. You know, a friend of mine had a tenant and when they went to look at that place, it was in, it was in a shambles. The walls were dirty, the tiles were dirty, the pool used to be blue and now it was a, a funny horrible green color, okay? <laughs> and and, and it, it took a while to get that tenant out. And that's exactly what happens in this space. Don't allow the wrong tenant in this space because it's going to be quite difficult to get them out because of the laws of the land, right? And so I encourage you. Here is the space that you need to expand. Here is the space that you refuse. I'm not going to allow any wrong thing in this space. I'm not going to allow any wrong tenant in this space. If Imagine our former president Nelson Mandela. If he had 27 years, they confined him physically, but he refused to be confined in here. You can look and think about people like Viktor Frankl in the concentration camps in World War II. Refused to be confined in here, even though in the space out he was confined. And eventually what happens? This space in here actually controls this space out here. So even as you're looking to, 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 um, to, to buy or invest in property out here, right? And when you go into investment, people talk about when's the best time to sell, when's the best time to buy, when's the best time to do this and that. I want to tell you one thing. 
with this space, the most valuable space that you can ever have. Don't ever sell this space. Don't allow anybody else to occupy this space. Don't let allow anybody else to define what you can or cannot have. Don't allow uh, the situations that you've been through to define your future because you can uh, design your future by what you uh, create in here. The blueprint is right here in the mind. I've been in the construction industry for many years as a building services engineer, right? Everything we do starts with the architectural blueprint, the drawings. You've got to have the right drawing in here if you're going to have the right building out here, okay? The, the most important part of that building is the foundation. And the deeper and the stronger the foundation, the higher that building will go. And guess where the foundation is with the space between your ears? The foundation is right in here. And if you can get this foundation right, everything else, else out here is going to work itself out. So I'm going to leave you with that. I've run out of time. And uh, please remember those three points. And I look forward to uh, hearing uh, about your, 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 your success story, how you applied these three points. Number one, invest in your space. OK, write input into this space. Number two, maintain the space. Just because you did it once, you don't leave it like that. Write it down. Make sure you put up the picture. Put it on your fridge. Put it on your wall. Put it on your phone. Put it on your device so that you can continue to keep it shining. You can continue to keep it uh, uh, at the forefront of your mind because your life will always move in the direction uh, that you're focusing on. Your life is going to move in the direction of the clearest picture that you can see in your mind. So keep that on your mind. Your life will move in the direction of your expectation. Don't worry about the how. Worry about the what. What do you want? Who are you really? What is your truth and what do you stand for? Okay, and then number three, we said expand your space.